surgery, chemotherapy, or radiation, the traditional approaches to treating cancer, but doctors are now using patients' genes to choose treatments. Welcome to the uh, molecular tumor board, August. A growing number of cancer centers are setting up molecular tumor boards, like this one, at the University of Wisconsin Carbone Cancer Center. Of a patient with intrahepatic cholangiocarcinoma. To find the right treatment based on a patient's cancer genes and mutations. In, in the changing landscape of oncology, how we take care of our patients, it has really brought a lot of us uh, physicians together to try to meet the needs of each and every one of the patients. Allison Karen's cancer was between her stomach and esophagus. It had spread to her liver, lungs, and lymph nodes. Karen's had her cancer genes tested, and a tumor board at the University of California in San Diego identified two drugs that seemed a good match for her mutations, although they were not approved for her type of cancer. Doctors suggested she give them a try. In about uh, eight weeks from a treatment, um, the imaging showed about 50 percent reduction of a, of a tumor. More people are getting this sort of tumor profiling since blood tests called liquid biopsies have come out. Liquid biopsies look for cancer DNA that tumors shed into the blood. Dr. Rizal Kurzrock says with the ability to test hundreds of genes at a time, doctors are able to come up with a more customized treatment. The new way to get a diagnosis is to look deep in the cell and understand precisely what made it into a tumor and that's genomic sequencing. Yet some are urging caution about tumor profiling, saying even if there's a mutation, it doesn't mean a certain drug will work in that cancer. We've actually learned in some of these situations where the mutations existed in the genetic analysis um, and a drug was available to match that genetic mutation, in those patients, it didn't work. Kurzrock believes the gene-guided treatment is the future of cancer care. I feel strongly that within the next few years, tumor profiling will be standard for all cancer patients. Karen's is grateful her case was reviewed by a molecular tumor board. Boy, if you can, if you can get the DNA testing and there's a match for it, I'd really highly recommend that because it works so well. Karen says her tumors continue to shrink and she's feeling good for the first time since she was diagnosed. Kathy Young, Associated Press.